Uh, any thoughts on Bamboo TPU for AMS? Have you used it? I think you grossed J83 for $5. Yeah, so here's what you need to know about Bamboo TPU of AMS uh, for AMS. So uh, Bamboo uh, has the multi-material uh, system, the AMS, and it can't feed flex filament. So Bamboo came with, with this stuff. TPU for AMS, which is TPU you can use in your AMS. Oh, perfect. No. No. This is not TPU. Well, it is. What you need to know, TPU... Uh, oh, let's just do Bamboo TPU. Bamboo TPU is shit. Don't buy it. But Bamboo TPU, 95A hardness. Sane Smart TPU, 95A hardness. Excuse me, I have hiccups. Let's look at a sure hardness scale. And first thing you want to note is that there are different hardness scales. There's the sure 0, A, and D hardness scale. Okay? So if we look at this scale, can I open image in a new tab? Can I zoom in on this? 95A is where traditional TPU is. A, 95A. This is 95A. This is TPU, okay? The bamboo TPU for AMS has a shore hardness of 68D. Where is that on the chart? 68D is here. The bamboo TPU for AMS is significantly harder than 95A, okay? significantly hard. And it has to be. That's that's why they can push it through the AMS. But the point is that the use case for the, the, the bamboo for AMS or the TPU for AMS is different than it's not going to be as flexible. It's not going to work well for like a GoPro case where you squeeze and stretch the GoPro in and it, it molds around it. It has uses, but it's not just interchangeable with the TPU that we use because it's such a different hardness. That's the thing. That's the thing you need to know. What you think of when you think of TPU is different than this bamboo TPU for AMS. Yeah. So it's cool that there's a new filament out there that can let you do different things that TPU wouldn't work for. But it's not just a one-in-one -one replacement. Turns out you can't just defy physics. <laughs>